Uh, hi. Hello, everybody. Hello. Turn off your phone. This is a professional hour. Okay. Just kidding. Ignore your phone the whole time. So today it's cold, so I'm wearing wool socks. It's gonna be a polar polar vortex is a coming. But as Trump liked to point out, um, what about global warming, guys? Yeah, what the hell that's is that? obviously not the same as climate no, change. No, no, no. Global whamming. A whamming. Global right? whamming, dude. Let's. He couldn't even take... spell it right. Did it he was... say whamming? It's yeah, because it was whamming. he's old and has dementia. No, he does not. He Let doesn't... this poor, mentally fragile man be, <laughs> right. who also happens to be the president. Of America. Speaking of mental, God, ment- fuck, us. Spe- spe- God fuck us. <laughs> he fucked us all. Like God, what are you doing? Fucking us! Ah, oh, they broke my Zelda thing. What? I told you mm. not to let them touch it. They broke the they broke the I one they could break. I told you. Whatever, it's fine. My amiibo it. died. So second, speaking of mentally fragile, today we're talking about college. Yay! And the, and the system that we find ourselves in currently. Basically, I've been watching a lot of, of right-wing conspiracy videos about how college is a scam. That's not, it's just where it started, but then there's also other people that are not right-wing nut jobs that say college is a scam. Mm-hmm. So it seems like the thing that Republicans and liberals can agree on at this moment is that the college is a scam. Mm-hmm. And of course, there must be some people that think college is cool. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. We'd have to go to college. Either, anyway, so I think that we, we're a pretty unique group of people, as mm-hmm. in we started our lives in very different ways. And we did d- very different kinds of schooling. And some of us just started right in a career right off the bat. Yeah. So this is an interesting thing. I went to community college. I got a two-year degree. You? Well, go to Marlin. Pass. <laughs> Marlin. Oh, I went to uh, a private school, nationally accredited scam school. It's for, a cre- uh, oh, for a four-year it, it, degree. It's accredited by this, the uh, National yeah. Board of Non-Accredited Colleges. <laughs> Yeah. No. So for me, what I did is I graduated high school a year early. So at 17, I decided to join the military. And I was in that for a little over three and a half years. She and then after that, kneel at the national anthem I, because of the military experience. No, I don't fucking care. In fact, Neil, if you want, fuck the police. Oh, Anyways. God. <laughs> Not a lot. You're radicalist. She's, she's a... She's the, rad- she's the <laughs> radical conservative. I mean... Li- that was a fucking... Yeah, so you went to the military, and instead of going to college, you went to the military. Yeah. And you learned a trade, sort of, but you well, also... only one that's very specific for military But yeah, stuff. you also... Like, not, like, regular... So why yeah. I was thinking it was kind of interesting is because you kind of cir- circumvented the whole college thing, and you started yeah. your life without college at all, and you're, like, you're doing college after. Yeah, and I you, did that for, yeah. like, a year, but I wasn't able to finish because right. I needed internships. But, she's, but she already had a career with, and also feasible training. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out the pros and cons of each. And well, also technically t- there was no feasible training. So like the only college right. credits that I got for going to the military, going to the specific like trade tech school, is I got one credit for walking, one for running, one for weight training, and then something else that was like physical activity wise. And it was all from basic training. Like none of my actual finance classes that I took or certifications that I got, like literally like worldwide certifications counted for anything towards college. God bless our military. So, but so then, like, for as the lack of education, would you say that was a better? Would you rather have gone to college, looking at what, everything you've seen now and what you've already accomplished with? Your if military? I didn't have the debt, I would have one hundred percent gone to college, and I would recommend that. Oof. I think the military is for people who I'd say like one out of every ten person that uh, goes to the military, it's because they're very patriotic, and I say nine out of ten times it's because you poor bitch trying to get out of poor bitch situation. Jesus Christ. I was that one. <laughs> the social program now, huh? Social. Yeah. So, it's like socialism so that you, works you're, in you're, America. So you're pro-college. I'm pro-college, but I'm also pro, like, trade schools and stuff like that. I don't think the military's really good. Oh, so no, you're, you're just anti-military. Yeah, I don't think young eighteen-year-olds should be fighting a war for. It's rich fair. Reasons. That's a good quite That's a good. That's a good point. It kind of sort of talks about another con of college. So it, yeah. okay, what do you, what do you got there, Marlon? I had a whole list of pros and yes. cons. There's a lot of okay. So I went to school. I guess technically it's a trade school because it only focused on. No, thank you. It only focused on um, very specific programs having to do with art. So there was graphic design, there was fashion, there was supposed to be like animation, but I don't know if it ever came to the site that we were at. But anyways, um, it was all art related stuff. Technically, I went to a really fancy, expensive, private art school is technically what it was. Also, 
known as I, IADT, International Academy of Design and Technology, later rebranded to Sanford Brown Art College. Uh, if you know what the Art Institute is, it's in the same vein of those mm. schools. Is your institute, like, actually good, though, or is it not? Uh, it just depends. Uh, if some of the teachers were really shitty and they didn't know what they were doing, and other teachers were really good and they knew yes, everything that they were doing. Yeah. So it just really depends. A lot of them were working in art and still are working in the art field, and so we had a lot of, like, related experience, like, to things that they were actually doing, whereas I went to Northwest Vista, and they were it's all like so college. yeah, so far removed from like the actual like what I was going for. I see, so they weren't in the they weren't in the career field at all. They yeah, were so separated from that. Yeah, I got that. So that's what I did, okay. and I'm oh. still trying to figure out I, if it's I, worth I, it I or not. Say what I did. Yeah, what did you do? I went to community college and I got a two-year degree on radio, television, and film. I was I was training to be on the radio and to film news, and so I did that for two years. It was an associate's of applied science, so I had to do all of my cores, but I also did mostly hands-on training with cameras, cameras and editing software and film cameras and photography cameras. So basically, I just played with cameras for two years and got a degree doing that. And that was that. So I'll talk about what I did after that later. So. Yeah. I don't know. Next question. The question is, is, is college is college worth it? Is it worth it? I, no, I think college can be worth it, but I also think a lot of different jobs require like a bachelor degree mm-hmm. or like four years of experience, but then they don't want to hire people for that kind of job. Like. Like, for example, my job with accounting, you could do on-the-job training within, like, one to three months, dependent on, you know, how hard that job is, right? No need for college, and yet, like, companies just refuse to do that, even though most college degrees, especially for the first two years, you're just doing, like, shit that you already learned in high school, that's Mm -hmm. technically stuff that you learned in middle school, and yet you're having to pay for that. And so, like, that's, so I think college degrees don't necessarily have to be a scam, or that they are a scam in that sense. I think companies and businesses requiring you to have, a like, a bachelor's degree for something that's going to pay, like, $10 an hour, and that's it, and it's never going to be salaried, you're never going to get, like... You know, good benefits so or anything. Triggered. So the it's is, so, so it's funny. Fucking, it's funny because uh, like and when you, you said uh, something interesting that college. Is it kids? No, they're just talking. Yeah. Uh, coll- <laughs> you, you said something interesting that college just repeats high school. Yeah. Right or just the middle school just repeats like high school just repeats middle school. It's a little bit more complicated, right? Because it's the same thing. They're teaching yeah. the same curriculum. Yeah. I didn't know. Any, I have like a very unique situation since I was homeschooled and didn't finish co- oh, high school. Shit, yeah. I everything I learned every like I was learning things in college like the history or the like science and stuff, and I was just like, whoa! I didn't know that at all. So I didn't know anything when I went to college. So it taught me everything that I know. Basically. Yeah. And I also had a unique situation in that since I was in a trade school, everything that they taught us was related to our field. So any English class, any math class. It all had to do with what we were really? directly going to Whoa. deal with. Yeah, yeah how to right. build people, how to make forms, that's, how to... All funny. kinds of actual business type shit that you would actually need as an entrepreneur and working for yourself kind of thing. Hmm. So we, I never had to take a repeat class. I never had to take like any of the things you're repeating yeah. again from high school. I never had to do any of that. So I was very lucky in that sense and... That was one of the benefits of going to that kind of school. There are so many benefits, but it's like... So you're getting triggered about something earlier. Yeah. What was that? I was getting triggered about... I, supposedly, it's this elite private school that's supposed to teach you all these things. And it did teach me all these things, but it took me seven years to complete a four-year degree because I had to work at the same time. And I could barely afford even paying, like, what... It was really expensive. So, it was eighty six thousand so dollars. Did you did you know? I that? the huh. job that I have now, which is in my field, it's eleven dollars an hour, did, and I'm in eighty six thousand dollars in debt with yeah. what's it called accruing interest so every single year. It turns year. out that you are in a very uh, normal situation. Like yeah. you are not the exception to the rule. Yeah, world. no, I am a statistic one hundred percent. So it's funny because most four year degrees, most people take six years to complete at minimum. Yeah. To finish a four-year degree, and so oh, that every shit. year they're making more, they're getting more loans. 
So by the time they finish school, most people are getting out with like eighty, ninety to a hundred thousand yeah. dollars in debt just for a bachelor's degree. That we've decided, which you'll probably agree, that it's not very marketable. Oh Having a bachelor's God. degree is like the status quo. It's like now. the basic, yeah, yeah. You have because I remember like when my mom. So when my mom first had me, she was a high school dropout, didn't have her GED, no college degree, anything. So when she uh, gave birth to me, like she started attending classes to get her GED, and then after that she got like. It's not an associate's degree, but kind of like a, at the time it was like a tech trade kind of degree for accounting. <coughs> she was able, with that tech degree that took only one year after like, you know, high school stuff, was able to get an accounting job for a law firm that paid like at the time $40,000. And this was back in the early 2000s before like the economy fell. Mm. So like that now would have been $80,000 a year for a one year trade school. That was only, like, a $1,000 to, you know, pay for. Like, it was so fucking cheap. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to have a bachelor's, which is, at, which is at least, like, you know, four years of college. She just went in with one year, and that's it. Yeah, like, so... Like, it's such bullshit. Yeah, so I would like to add that I don't think that my school was a scam school intentionally, or I don't think any of our schooling intentionally meant to be a scam school, yeah. mm -hmm. but it ended up becoming that because of the way the world changed mm, after... Yeah. After the recession, after all these things fell through, it used to be like my parents knew people that had two year degrees that had amazing jobs. I know some people that got two years degree, two year degrees early on and yeah. they have these amazing, incredible jobs. And the one of the first people that I ever met that was in graphic design, uh, Rick Williamson, he's a great graphic designer. He was a graphic designer for all of the city of San Antonio for a while. He did a whole bunch of. He's, a, he's done so many things. He's even have, he has his own media company. He has a lot of stuff. He only went in for a two-year degree. Like, he, yeah. like, is you he know so, what I mean? Is he sort of like an entrepreneur, though? Uh, now he is, but no, that's what he started well, with. so here's the thing. I went and got a two-year degree, and I got a pretty decent job right out of the gates. But I didn't get it because of the education. I got it because I, I networked. References. So I don't know what it was. Yeah. So, like, I, I don't use my degree any, any at all. But it was because of my degree that I got the job I got. In some yeah. ways, like, I, in some ways I had to petition for myself more than I've ever had to do in my life. Because they didn't have a position for me. They had to create one for me because, like, they needed a bachelor's degree minimum for that position. So there was a lot of, like, I don't know how much I want to get into this. But basically, what I'm trying to say is I had to work very hard to be able to work. Which sucks because I came on as a contractor, which is, uh, there was someone that was saying it was, like, employment instability right it's like yeah, you, you it have is. a job get rid of you at for time. now yeah but we could get rid of right you i could any for any reason and yeah. so now like now that i had to do all the groundwork in and i'm, I'm fully employed with the company it's still kind of scary even though they can't just get rid of me for any reason because i'm part of the company now it's like has a lot there's a lot more to do it's still kind of scary even though like i have that if i like the employment instability still in my head because I was like programmed so much yeah. to have to like kiss ass to get anywhere like for years like three four years of that like before this and like going to stupid ass unpaid internships and like petitioning so hard to get a, like a promote like a spot in in the in the radio station and all that stuff like it takes a lot of that work and so someone was saying also is that in order to get a good job or a good career, you have to be a self-motivator already. You have to be able to motivate yourself. You have mm -hmm. to be able to, like, mm -hmm. take control of the situation. But the thing is, college does not teach you to do that at all. It does not teach you to be a leader. Yeah. It doesn't teach you to be a self-starter. It, it just teaches you to follow directions. Yeah. And <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't yeah. help at all. <laughs> it, no, it's true. Uh, whenever they were telling us anything about graphic design, they always told us that our... I'm my product, mm -hmm. and I have to sell myself to people. Uh, I have to sell my services, my skills, my whatever. They talk about doing a lot of free work for people to get my name out there, to build a portfolio, to do all this groundwork. And basically, I, I didn't have enough time to do any of that in school because I was working a full-time job. I was going to school full-time, so I would pull like 60, 70-hour weeks at work by itself and then go do... 40 hours at school 
I would work at night and then sleep like four hours and then go to school. I literally have, yeah, I literally have a, a vlog up from my channel that's just me in bed talking to the camera, describing my 48 hour day. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, how the fuck didn't I die? Like on the fucking highway that day. Like it's scary. It's really fucking scary. So I didn't have time to go and do internships or work on my graphic design at all, or work on the programs and, and learn them all. It wasn't until I got out of school and then actually got a job as like an $11, a dollar, $11 an hour graphic designer at a t-shirt place mm -hmm. yeah. that I was able to learn. I've learned more than I ever learned <laughs> about the programs in like a six month period than I ever did seven years at school yeah. just because of the practice, like all of yeah. these practice. And what makes me the saddest is that when people come in and they're like, oh, you, you're so good at, um, cause it's a retail store. Just, just to set up the situation it's a retail store so you can come in you can make a shirt we can make a shirt in like 20 minutes we have illustrator and all the adobe suite so we can make any graphics that you want whatever you want so people walk in all the time and you do a lot of walk-in clients and they'll be like oh i want to make this joke shirt i want to make this kind of shirt and so they'll see me in real time designing everything and you have to be really fast at the job and since they're not familiar with the programs they're very like amazed like oh my gosh this is so good and did you have to get a degree for this kind of job it's so it seems like it would be so fun it's like yeah I got a degree for this job <laughs> and and people will ask me advice I've had so many people asking me advice yeah. about oh well how do you become an artist and working artist and this and that mm -hmm. so, and so I it, always tell them don't go to school oh, yeah. if you can help it go to youtube there's so much information out there knowledge really is power and if i understood back then what i know now that you could get all the information that you learned at school literally through youtube or yeah. through things like uh what is that one lynda.com or skillshare or yeah. Something like that. yeah yeah that you wouldn't have I would have ended up in this financial situation, but I didn't know any better. Like, this is the only way I knew to go forward is go to school. Well, I think also, like, this has changed, too, and so uh, information doesn't cost as much as it used to. Maybe back in our parents' days it did, but not now. Not now. It's very free, very open, very public. It's, like, very fortunate that we have it now, but it just it sucks because I miss the bus. On it a you're not a bit. Gen Z -er. Good job. If you're watching this and you're Gen Z, well, God bless you. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. We'll try not to fuck it up like the baby boomers. We're going to fuck it up. Sorry, Gen Z. We'll we're trying try not to. We'll try to take care of y'all. <laughs> we're basically like. We're, we're for... trying to be the good boys. We're like the old man that like fuck tells you. the young kids, they're like, fuck you. Fuck the no, you know what? People. Stop. <laughs> fuck Gen Z. You, you guys are spoiled. You be nice. You will be nice. Oh, no, no. Ignore him. Fuck you. Your memes suck dick. Fuck. Oh, my God. Listen. Gen Z, your, oh, your no, memes, they no, suck. No. They suck. Instagram's from uh, assholes. Oh. Snapchat is for children. You guys are dumb. I, Fuck you, Gen don't, Z. Don't listen to him. Listen, I made her laugh. Hey, she's like a Gen Z. No, I'm not. We born, don't know. We don't know, actually. Okay, I was okay, born in 95. Internet, is she a Gen and Z? And they'll say Am that, I like, robber? Gen Z starts in 96 mm, or 97. No. <laughs> Barely. So anyway. I've even seen 99, but I don't think that's Speaking right. of this, this is interesting because we put the point after I was yeah. accosting Gen Z on the internet for <laughs> 10 seconds. Generate, <laughs> generationally speak. Some oh, stuff. Just sit down. Generational <laughs> views on college. Oh, yeah. Didn't you oh, have yeah. that infographic? Oh, oh, yeah. I had that info. It's on my phone. We're using her we're phone to record. Yeah. Because so, we're, we're filthy. filthy. Yeah. So I think my parents... At least for me, when they talked about college, they made it seem like it was so far out of reach that yeah. I would never get there. That's or what that, my like, parents thought. And college I thought, was like amazingly hard to get into. Right, college yeah. was hard work. Uh, only like the few can accept it, and like if you get in, you're gonna probably fail. That's what like, yeah. my parents told me. Basically, I don't know if it's because that was just some sort of cultural thing that was banged into their head because they were poor all their lives, but it didn't really make me feel very good. And so when I got into college, I was like really scared about it. But it was like the easiest thing I've ever done. Yeah. I don't know about you. What about you? Okay, okay. My parents were working class citizens, also very poor all their life, also massive amounts of debt all their life, and very like, you have to go to college to become a lawyer 
or a uh, doctor yeah, or yeah. one of those kind of assholes. <laughs> assholes. And, and I tried really hard to be like academic and to try to go down a path of like a lot of money basically. And I just couldn't stick to it. I just, I would get really anxious and I hated it. I like a lot of creative stuff way more. I'd rather not be personally involved with people. What about you? <laughs> on a crazy level. So what about I'm, you? Mm-hmm. What did your parents tell you about college? My mom made it seem like it was very hard to get into and that only the rich could afford and that I was on my own she when I came to college. She wasn't wrong. And so, yeah, that's why I joined the military because I was like, fuck, I don't know what I want to do for the rest of my life because I was debating between, like, accounting and being a lawyer. And then once I went into finance for the military, I was like, haha, fuck this. This is easy as shit. This is the one I'm doing. That's cool. But it just sucks because, like, accounting is going to be obsolete in, like, the next 20 years, I think. It's all right. You can just, it won't be obsolete because someone's going to monitor the computers. Yeah. So so this is is basically what I did. I, I, I learned in college, I learned how to do film. And then I went out in the real world, and I learned how to code. <laughs> that was it. That's what you gotta do. You learn a trade that's valuable. Figure out what that valuable trade is, no matter what it is and how boring it is. Because let me tell you, a- editing HTML not that fulfilling of a job, but it gets it puts food on the table. What are you doing? Fixing your shelf. Oh, leave my shelf alone. We're talking about college. Yeah. I'm sorry. What's a viable skill? Where are you going? Even if it's not, to get a sack. Uh, well, even if it's not a viable film, I guess my only advice would be figure out what you want to do. It doesn't matter if you think it's stupid. It doesn't matter if your parents think it's dumb. Just do what you want to do and then work towards it. No, 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 no. Do it. Do it. I, I disagree with you so much. I disagree I with you so hard because fuck what you want to do. Don't make your living out of what you like. Fuck that. Just make a living out of what makes money or you're going to be in, living in a dump. If you want to do something fun, do it uh, recreationally or try to monetize it somehow. Don't. I Like, I tried that. I'm not doing technically what I really love, but I'm getting... I'm getting look at this money. Look at this. This pillow is made out of... Cotton? You hate your daily life, no? You work I think life. I hate my daily life to an extent, but I could. I would hate it a lot worse if I was working very hard. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a baby. So, okay, why do you... What do you... What is... I'm okay with working hard. I just... I would rather be working on things that fulfill me creatively. I see. So, like, what would you say about going and doing things that you like? Like, if you, can you explain that advice more to me and, like, why I don't well, really understand? Well, because I've tried doing the normal people thing and going and doing normal people jobs. Like, I've been in a lot of call centers. i work for banks. Those aren't normal. Le- those wor- are, yeah. are entry-level jobs. Yeah, any, like- any entry-level job. No, and even trying what? to get, like, uh, a supervisor position or a managerial position... Uh, all of these kinds of jobs, I just did not. So is it just the environment was bad? No, not the environment. The, the actual oh, work. Oh, so you don't like that. I don't mm-hmm. like that all, like, anything that consists of not, like, helping out people and making people upset, that makes me emotionally drained, especially talking to a lot of people all day long. I just, I can't handle that. I was always really good Oof. at not doing the jobs I didn't want to do because I'd usually apply for the job I wanted. And not necessarily the job I thought I was qualified for. And a lot of times that worked for my advantage. If I applied for a job that I was that I really wanted, I'm talking about money and also inter- interest. There's a lot of times I got it. And it was nothing like really huge, but there was there were two when I like any time I go to like uh, I applied at uh, Best Buy, but I only wanted to do the warehouse work because I didn't want to work with customers. There's a there's a one that they're hiring all the time for like retail cashiers, but I didn't want that job, so I bought I got the one I actually wanted. They still hired me, so like it's tough. It's a tough way. Like again, I think it really just comes to being your own advocate hard. Yeah. And so like if you want to do what you like, then you have to make sure that you are advocating for yourself. Yeah. Hard. All the time, always, 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 always. Do not listen to your family. Oh. Not your family. <laughs> not your parents. Not what your friends tell you. Do what the fuck you want to do, okay? And fuck everybody else. I'm sorry if there's too many bad words in here, but seriously, Don't no, say because fuck. you're not gonna be fulfilled. Uh, like you're gonna you're not gonna be fulfilled in any type of way if you're literally doing everything everybody else is doing. I am literally just learning to start advocating for myself and oh. doing what I want and not following anybody else's rules. Literally to the point that I changed 
houses. It's because did you change the house? Yeah, I used to be Hufflepuff. I tested oh, again, god. and I'm fucking slithering. Oh god! I thought you were talking about a real, like, physical house. No. No, no, no. Listen, I up. changed it. Cause... I, I would say Ooh. if I can give advice to my children, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Oh my uh, god! Just do something that you can get money for. Like, I don't want, I, I want to teach my kids to follow their dreams and all that shit, but I also want them to be logical. So if your dream is, like, impossible to make any sort of living on, you're not living in my house till you're 38. Yeah. <laughs> so get a job that's marketable, you silly girls. No, learn how to market yourself. Also, my ki- No! Because... Uh, no, yeah, uh, yourself, your skills, uh, your, your... What you can do. I'm barely starting to do that now, and I'm, like, 29. I... I wish I knew that this is what I wanted to do when I was younger. Here's what you do. Instead of following what everybody else Get an IT job, work in an office, drink coffee every morning. I can't do that. Ooh, His ooh, ideal ooh, situation ooh, that's my is job every day. Is I go my, in and I drink coffee and I go to the bathroom and I go and get it. It's my nightmare. I, just, I would I, never. I, I could small never. talk all day about, oh, it's Monday today. I hate it. I remember I would go. That's what you're going to college for, I would ladies hate and gentlemen. It. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand? You're going college. You're going to college. So you can drink coffee and schmooze with people in on in the water it's cooler. It's the fucking worst. It's my nightmare. I love one it. day, oh. one day, I came up to Chris when I was working as a security guard, and I was like, "I hate my job. I sit at a desk and I greet people every day, and they say the same twenty things to me every single yeah. day." And I listed off all the things that. I, like that they talk to me about and he's like what do you mean I do that every single day and I do that on my own out of my own volition yeah. that you he literally goes he goes out and on his own uh-huh. starts these stupid conversations especially with the receptionist poor, poor, meaningless, poor baby. Baby, meaningless not a baby poor woman <laughs> poor woman meaningless poor, conversations uh-huh, about the meaning. weather uh-huh. well, about it's, 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 a little, it's a little bit more abstract than the weather okay I'm not a normie I talk about like uh what did I talk about? What did I talk about today? Oh, there was a mouse in our office. Don't tell anyone. So we talked about the mouse a lot all day. Oh my god. We said like, oh, you think you think those traps that they set out this morning caught the mouse? And I was like, oh my god, probably not because they're empty. I would hate it if you if you find yourself in a situation where you realize you don't like to work with other people or for other people for whatever reason, fight for a job that you're doing by yourself or oh you're. Marlon, are you autistic? Am I autistic? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. It just seems like... I don't know. I I guess it's like I have a hard time understanding how other people feel. So to me, being around people is not bad at all. And, like, I feel like I can easily manipulate people. So it's just like another job. No, that's a Ted Buddy thing to say. Yeah. Don't say things like that. I'm going to say more things like that. This is what the show's going to be. Watch me say slightly threatening things on the internet. Oh, God! What? You the late. She's been telling me not to let her snack, but here she is making this monstrosity. It's just salsa and taquitos. It's okay, like, but yeah, no, I just I don't know. So I yeah. feel like I'm too I'm too in tune with people's feelings and thoughts. So if they're raging or if they're feeling stressed, I feel uh, it too, and I mm. fucking hate it. So my boss is. Don't get into the boss. Too personal. Okay, okay, fine. We'll Say get into my boss. Not your boss. But your, when I'm uh, around, your crazy aunt. But when I'm your around... Your crazy aunt. Is when I'm around, around... her crazy aunt. No, when I'm around a really high-stressed people uh, that feel a lot of emotions and a lot... It sticks to me, and how I do you, don't want it how to. How do you feel with me, then? Because I'm... I'm a... Oh, I disregard most of the most of your explosions and stuff. Oh, yeah. Just it's... because I feel like if you're exploding, you need to do it and just get rid of it. But like, you're just like an anxious ball of fire. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very, like, jittery. I'm, yeah. I'm very, uh, like, floppy I boy. I never really understood Chris's anxiety until he explained it to me, like, really well a couple months ago. <laughs> He's like, yeah, every time I wake up, I think, how is there a possibility of me dying today or having my life completely turn around? And you'll think of, like, the hundreds of different ways it could go wrong. Like, I could die, my wife yeah, could die, my kid could die, not, my other kid. It's not necessarily like, that um, And I'm just like, god damn. Tangible. <laughs> yeah. Like, basically, yeah. I, I, I constantly, I'm, con- I'm in a constant state of panic. You know that movie, uh, fucking Quiet, The Quiet Place, where they're always sneaking around because if any little noise they make... We'll, we'll, we'll set off the monsters and they'll get killed. That's how I feel I all the time. I think that's called PTSD. I don't, maybe. I had a, <laughs> had a pretty <laughs> shitty childhood, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I'm afraid of my wife. That's what, that's what it is. 
No, no. So we're no. talking about I, I we're talking about college, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was talking to my other friend, who you know, if you're watching this, you know who you are because I'm gonna just tell everything. He's going to university. He, he I met him in school. I'm not gonna mention his name. Don't mention his name. It's a. Bell. It's not Damon. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Good thing editing it exists. Good thing we can never live stream, ladies and gentlemen, because we'll say it. We'll tell all of our secrets. No, but I mean, Damon's such a. Cool no, anyway, guy. I was talking to him. I asked him the same. I asked him the question. I was like, "Was high school, was college a scam?" No. And he said, "In some ways, I think it is." But then he said, "I think it's worth the money. It's worth it." And so he told. He said he explained to me that it was for important to him for him to learn how to communicate and how to mesh with people in a sort of professional mm-hmm. environment. Yeah, and I think college does offer that. But I don't know. I, and I asked him again. He said, "Like I think I'm a di- you like you think I'm a different person from when I entered school." And I was like, yeah, "Of course, I think you're a different person." But then I asked him, "Is like, is that because of college, mm-hmm. or, or you're just growing up and getting more experiences?" So the re- I think the the two reasons why people think that college is a scam that I keep hearing over and over again is one, it's not worth the investment. Yeah. Because like we have examples of people not being able to pay off their student loans, so they take Never. they take out student loans. In the in the hopes that they'll be able to pay it off really quick, but if you're honestly if you if you don't need the degree like go I would say I would recommend going a different route and learning everything you need or just going to community college first to kind of figure yourself out there. I think everybody should go to community college if they yeah. want to go to college. Don't go to like fucking universities because it's a mistake and it's yeah. expensive and they'll ruin you your like life. Get like all the cheap ass classes that you can at a community college. The community you know, colleges are usually the like, professors are better because it's such a it's a more intimate environment, so mm-hmm. they can actually help you with your things you need. You can talk to Hunter and Amanda about community college and how it was awful for them. Ooh, it's not good. They went Everyone. for two year degrees and I think they ended up staying there for four years. Well, you gotta, you gotta have a little focus. A bro. lot of uh, no, they were always focused on college and mm. it was a disaster. It happened. Lots of stuff. I'm not gonna talk about it. It's it's I'll a long story. It. So it's they, a long story. They both got degrees in Spanish, but they only know French, and so French Spanish no. is very hard for them to learn. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, no, just yes. figure out if the what you want to go for to college is something that you can learn by yourself. So say if you're wanting to be a graphic designer or anything like that, just learn the Adobe Suite. Learn the Adobe Suite. Learn how to talk to people. That's basically all you need to know. Get a portfolio. Uh, I definitely don't recommend that anybody spend a lot of money trying to go to so so college so okay why do you think college is good because like it's I, I feel when you say college is good i don't take it very well because you went to you went to the military it's not easy but yeah. you've got a house you're able to jumpstart your career and your mortgage yeah and, and now you get well, to, now you go to school for free the reason why i think so you don't like that that's not a good idea be worth it wait well but okay is because like you're not going to be able to get a you know, job anymore unless you fucking network or you have a really good college degree. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's, it's only good because it's a necessity technically, but it shouldn't have to be. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, the reason why I don't recommend going to the military is you'll feel really old afterwards <laughs> mentally and physically and uh, not so nice. Yeah. I got some positives from my college experience. Oh my god, good. Look, I actually no, we're actually about, they're let's, just. Let's, as, let's talk about positives now. Positives, okay, okay. Turn so off the video, ladies and gentlemen. We're positives. not going to be talking bad anymore. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> my positives, okay. So I went to technically a private school, trade tech school, whatever. So they only specified in graphic design. You didn't have to fuck around with any of the other bullshit. They weren't trying to teach you. If we went to art history, it had everything to do with the art history of graphic design and not just in general art history. So it was all related to our field, which I thought was very valuable and probably something that's harder to get from YouTube or from like other classes Mm -hmm. online. Um, The class sizes were always really small, which was I appreciated. I knew all my teachers. All my teachers knew me. All of the instructors knew who I was. The receptionist knew who I was. Everyone knew my name and my information. It was like a little tribe. Yeah. Uh, my books and stuff were already paid for by my expensive ass tuition. So I got my books at the beginning of the year technically without me having to go through, like, you know, trying to get them online and mm-hmm. do them. Brand new books, here you go. You already paid for it because of this expensive ass school. I got my laptop from school for free technically uh 
I feel confident. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is something that I wouldn't have been able to acquire by myself, like alone in my room trying to learn stuff on YouTube. My confidence is something I've been working on all my life. And I've never really had like a full grasp on it when it came to the trade that I'm doing until I went to school for it. And I proved that I was good. (laughs) And all my teachers to this day love me. They love my work. They remember my work. And I'm just that... I'll, you won't get that if you, like, if you don't go to college. The kids yeah. still awake. Yeah, they're awake. Yeah. They're running around. Uh, I also feel accomplished. I actually, it's a thing that I finished. I mm-hmm. drop a lot of things. There's a lot yeah. of things I start and I stop. But I finished college and I feel accomplished because of that. And also, in college, I learned how art and economics, art and the economy of art works. Where beforehand i didn't know that you can make a a living out of being an artist or a graphic designer Mm -hmm. i didn't know that that was a thing i didn't know that that was like a career path that i could take i just was always like who's gonna buy gallery paintings for me as if that's the only kind of art that exists (laughs) i had no idea so yeah it opened up my worldview a lot with art and like it's literally everywhere so it's it's a vast and open landscape and Yeah, I learned a whole bunch of stuff from going to actual college. I have some pros for college. Yeah. Lots of hot chicks there in college. Oh, yeah, lot, th- there is. A lot of brewskis. I didn't drink when I was in college. You don't know no, what a brewski no, is. No, you just have man hot slut. Man slut. No, no, sorry. No, I like, the real thing I liked about college is the opportunity yeah. to meet so many people and to learn so many different kind of experiences because when I went to college, there was people from all different kinds of, like, social ladder, in the, all up and down the social ladder, all up and down the experience ladder, just in general, like either experience in my field or just life experience. And it was nice knowing all that and being able to to kind of form a team since my program was pretty small. We Community. All, we all got, it was like the show. What's that show when they're, they're in a college and it's in, it's not, it's like a, not a university, but it's uh, some sort of, some sort I of like I meant community the word, year. not the community of the show, but yeah, okay. Community, community of the, the show. show. Yes, we were like community of the show. Starring Donald Glover. It was, that was me. Uh, no, it was good, and it was also good since I did the applied science degree. I was able to use a lot of, uh, I was able to uh, have a lot of hands-on experience with these shitty television cameras and also shitty com- Canon photo- uh, cameras and shitty audio boards with eighteen thousand channels, and I was only going to use three. You see what I'm talking about? Experience. We learned about that, and then I also got a job with a camera right after that. So, yeah, I haven't touched a camera professionally, like a video giant a camera, week? in a long time. Oh. I used to, I used to, I used to. I, I remember when my first job outside of college basically was working as a camera up for SeaWorld. So I remember the first time I, I assembled like one of one of the cameras without anyone telling me and I set it up on the thing and I was like surrounded by all these peons that had no idea how the cameras work and I was just like yes I did, everybody ladies and gentlemen yes yeah. I did just do that shit <laughs> I did just add the lens to the body and also connect a bunch of wires yes so I felt pretty good and I felt good knowing all that stuff but flash forward four years and I've worked in an office and I don't remember any of that shit. I wouldn't know how to like set up any lights. I'm I wouldn't sure know it's how like to, muscle memory. I, don't, oof, I wouldn't know how to set up any audio boards. I wouldn't know how to like plug in any uh, SLRs. Not a single one. But before I could do it. That's how I felt before I, I got a job. I used in. to know all the different kinds of mics and what they were for. And now I don't know anything. That's how I felt like with the piano. Because like I haven't played the piano since I was... 14, 15 maybe, and like when we went to see his uh, great aunt two years ago now in May, like she had a baby grand piano there or whatever, and I was like, oh, can I play? And she's like, yeah, sure. And they had like the Beauty and the Beast uh, song, the one classic the one. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I, I probably don't remember how to play. And then like I actually started reading the sheet music, like, oh well, this is great. And then I was like, oh shit, I'm doing it. Like, no, yeah, I don't think you know what I mean? Thing. I feel like I feel like. It's I know exactly sometimes things thing. come back to you. It doesn't always happen. Yeah. I'm gonna have to like if but I go if I go and put up a if I go out and like set up a show with a, with a camera and a bunch of amps and microphones. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a little bit of training to get back on there. Also, I'm gonna need to reevaluate my life because that work is hard and I don't like it. <laughs> you know what I like doing? Nothing. No, I like doing computer work. I'm a computer boy now. 
upload my consciousness to the Matrix already, please. I'm sick of this body. It's worthless. No. I'll come and visit you, though, on the phone. You can talk to me. and I'll... Oh, then I can God. finally move to Washington. Yeah, you sure. can move, take me to Washington. Whatever. I don't care. I'm the fucking Matrix, dude. Don't live on your phone. <laughs> I'm here. Wherever. I'll be wherever the fuck I want. I'll be just near... I'll be, I could be two places at once if I was in the Matrix. Wow. Yeah. What would you do? If I was in the Matrix, that's a whole story for a different time, dude. <laughs> but I would probably that's do what podcast. I'm doing right now. Oh, speak you want to hear a little tech joke? Speaking of which, since that's my career field, there was this one Reddit post where someone was saying, like, like a shower thought. He was like, "Your body is only uh, the only its only purpose is to take your head from one room to another." And I stopped and I was like, "Oh, he thinks he's really smart, but he's just a, he's just so far into the tech world that he he doesn't realize that people actually use their body for work and for activities yeah. for and other sports. things for anything." <laughs> For sex, even. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, no, it's just to carry your head from one place to another. Like, no, no, go outside, please. <laughs> that was close. Oh I would have, I was like, I would have agreed with that, I'm sure, in my most depressed times, but now I'm a, now I got so ditto. When you're depressed, I got the ditto action you're figure. Dumb then? When I'm sure depressed, I just am susceptible to all kinds of bullshit. Yeah. So, what was the moral of this story? So, okay, let's just say what we our final thoughts and what we if we think college is worth it or not, Marlon, go. College for me is not worth it yet. Talk to me when I have seventy thousand a year in my field. I would say college for me, or you know, for anyone, is worth it as long as you're being cheap about it and you're getting a good degree that's actually going to be applicable to the real world. Mm-hmm. I think the abstract college is not good because you need to figure out you need to what I would say is you need to figure out what the hell you want to do and then do first, job training first yeah. and then just figure out the, your path so if you decide that you want to be a doctor and that's really what you want then fucking you gotta go to school you gotta go to medical school there's no there's no if ands or but yeah. but if you want to be like a I don't know like a <laughs> what's some like a fucking like uh, marine biologist? No, not a marine biologist. If you want to work as in like as a secretary in an office, or if you want to do something like with, um, I was thinking like carpentry or something like that, you just do the trade, and you'll probably make yeah. more money that way. So if you yeah, like, yeah, trades are good. If your job absolutely requires, I don't even think in some cases I don't even think marketing. I mean, marketing or fucking art, like graphic yeah, art, does I think needs you have a degree. To have like one and natural talent no. for those but kinds you, of things, yeah. and then you need to like. Yeah. Perf- so it's just like, like yeah, yeah figure it out, and then if you can go to community college, which everyone can, go to community college. And if college At isn't for first. you, if college isn't for you, and you don't like it, or you can't, or you can find a job somewhere else, then get the fuck out. And then you yeah. you have maybe like two thousand dollars in debt yeah. instead of eighty nine thousand dollars. Yeah, but make decisive decisions. You can't oh, let make, it just go. Oh, right. Yeah, but, uh, and don't take dumb classes that aren't worth anything to your degree. Thank God, I, I because did, otherwise you just literally pay money for bullshit. So when I was time. starting college, I was had I was going to I was going to get a degree in sociology. I'm so glad I did not do that. Okay, great because my boss talks about her sociology. Ooh, degree. I was going to be a sociologist for no reason just because I thought it was easy to do, and then I said, you know what, maybe I should do like something that I can make money off. of. <laughs> oh God, I could have been a sociomolo- sociomolologist. You could have been a doctor, the other kind. I could have just been really sad. That's it. I would have just been studying. Like my boss. Oh, I would have had like a woke (laughs) YouTube channel though. I would have been like, I have. I'm using my uh, sociology PhD to talk about uh, the Simpsons and the social. (gasps) I'm gonna get my PhD in sociology just so I can do the Simpsons sociology course. Who wants to take that? I do. Me. Somebody, somebody do that. I can't do that. (gasps) Which version of The Simpsons? The good ones. Season okay. 1 through 6. Okay, fine. I, you can come join my college, Not The Simpsons even College. Not through 8? I liked 8. No, I don't like 8. Oh, it got, 11 was pretty good. I mean, I'm sure they had good episodes, but I think once once they did the Who Shot Mr. Burns thing, it kind of was... Oh, that was that, season that 6. My mom and also too. season 7. It's because it's true, dude. Like, uh, Well, this is another topic for another day, but you don't need college to let you yourself know that season six you uh the simpsons has not been good in a long time like people have been alive longer or like shorter than the simpsons has been good yeah <laughs> like adults <laughs> like yeah. 18 year old adults they're like oh the simpsons what <laughs> yeah all right well i think i gotta get the hell out of here before yeah go another it's tangent. gonna be a long ass video this one was 46 minutes i wasn't so bad oh is it still going oh god i hope so